Hi, I'm Momtaz. Welcome to Hello Hugh, the show where I chat to chromatic characters about the joy of colour. So if you're a fellow colour lover, then Hello Hugh is for you. In this episode, I'm chatting all things neon with Jill Navarro, who runs Neon Naked Life Drawing. Hey Jill, welcome so much to Hello Hugh. Uh, you're here to chat about neon, so maybe you could start by describing what does the neon aesthetic mean to you? So neon um, to me is such like a, it's kind of like a normal, it's like an everyday thing, it's like, it's, it's like my work and um, what I was doing, it's like it comes in all my work, so everything I do, like everything I sew or make or paint or my class is neon obviously and I, if I do any shoots or any videos or any performances, it's always neon, always UV reactive. But then if you think about like how other people see neon, it's kind of an extreme thing. What do people like associate with? So it's always like either, it's like extreme worlds, either subcultures of say Psytrance or like Acid House or extreme musical alternatives. And then at the other side of the spectrum, it's like police and security and even like um, builders wear these big neon suits, which I've got some, I wear them as well, because <laughs> I love them. And um, like all the high vis and stuff. So it's, um, it's got such weird associations on like other like, parts of the colour spectrum. It's just got this like, like, just, like, it's kind of put into a bit of a box, really. And I think it's much more than that in uh, how I see it. It's much more of a, just a bigger thing. Um, yeah, I do, I do love it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but you're so true. There's such extremes, like that kind of club wear scene to this like work person's uniform and there's yeah. such different worlds. Yeah. I guess when I think of highlighters, I mean neons, when I think of neons, I think of like a pack of highlighter pens, but they always, they're always the same colours. You'll get like a bright yellow and a bright yeah, yellow yeah. And a bright orange. Um, when you think of neon, do you think of those particular colours or is um, it wider? Now neon is definitely, which is, this is what I find weird as well, because neon definitely has a spectrum. It's like every other type of like, you know, you can get the pastel spectrum or the darker or more bolder spectrums of colour. And it's, um, you can get like many other shades. The only thing is with UV light and how it reacts in UV light is blues and purples don't normally react in UV light because it's so close to the UV spectrum. If you think of it like a timeline, there's like UV and it comes to like blues and purples and on the other end it's like oranges and reds and greens so the ones on the other end will react more with the UV light as it's kind of a contrast um but you can get you can kind of get like lots of different greens and yellows and oranges and pinks and yellows and you can like you can get like everything's like the neon yellow but you can get much I like, can get loads of different shades of that and say so when I body paint my models um you can get like different types of orange and you can mix them together and stuff and you just get different shades but everyone kind of sees them so I think we see them in such a normal way but everyone sees them in those block four colours. So you've got neon colours and then what's really magical is that you've got these colours and then you add a UV light and they completely yeah. change. I mean it feels like magic, I guess it's a bit scientific. Um, do you know much about why that sort of um, happens? Yeah, um, I did, um, so I finished my MA last year in art and science and I tried to figure this out. I did this whole um, essay on um, short wavelength light and basically I think it's just um, something like neon has like phosphorus inside it and it just, it just basically just bounces off. And it's like kind of like how, how you would have say like shiny paint and matte paint and the shiny paint will react with the light because it's like has this like layer of like um, reaction to it where matte paint kind of just absorbs it. And it's similar to, uh, if you think about um, Anish Kapoor's, like his, his special black paint, have you heard of that? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of, it absorbs all light. Mm -hmm. And, it doesn't, and it's, a, it's like the darkest colour and you can never get. And so other things really, really push out light. And that's what neon does. It just reacts and really pushes out all the light. And that's why it, it looks so different in contrast to everything else in the space. And do you remember when you first... <clears throat> discovered uh, neon colours was it when you were a child or was it when you kind of got to art school and started to explore colour a bit more? Um, well when I was like say a teenager I was always interested in like kind of like extreme styles I was doing fashion a lot of the time so I was specialising in fashion and illustration that kind of thing so I was always going for like the most unusual materials like I made stuff out of plastic and stuff and transparent material and PVC and then I went on this journey of um, like kind of develop, developing my work I went to knitwear 
And from that, um, it was just one day I was doing like a fashion BA and my tutor was always like, make it pretty, make it nice, make it sellable. And they were great tutors. I'm not saying they're bad, they were really, really cool because I might see this. <laughs> but um, they were, I made all this like kind of like very simple beige and gray collection. And it was all about cells and how to like make your knitting look like cells and make it like, make it look like, you know, microscopic, which is massive. And then one day I just literally, I got, I got kind of like frustrated or something. I just put all my knitting in this big vat of neon dye. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> and this is like this knitting I've been working on for ages. I was like, I don't like this color. So I was just putting this big vat of neon dye. I was like, and it looked like um, kind of like seaweed. It was all like, it was, it, was, it was great. And from that, I just changed my entire collection to look, to be about horror films in the um, like art noir horror, horror films because all their posters were all very neon and colourful from these black and white films. So it just kind of developed from that. And then from that, I was I didn't like neon in everything. It just kind of um, started. But then it started off kind of quite dull in colours and it just kept getting more and more brighter. And now I just kind of only go for like the most extreme points of a neon spectrum <laughs> in my work. That is incredible. Um, I don't suppose many people can say that they've made neon colour a huge part of their lifestyle. So maybe you could explain a bit more about how neon comes into your everyday life. Um, well, I've been doing it for like such a long time, maybe like eight years now. I've been like specialising in neon and just how like it just kind of gets, as I said before, it just kind of you just keep doing it, adding a little bit more every time. And um, it's just like, you don't really even know, because you, you, you just look at it for such a long time and you see it, but um, you don't even notice it for a while. And so during lockdown, I wasn't doing any classes. And now when I started doing classes going, I was like, oh, it looks so bright in here. Like it looks so neon. It looks like, has it, have the lights changed or something? It's just because my eyes haven't got used to it or I haven't seen it for a long time. So now not neon is kind of like my normal <laughs> and I put my UV lights in at home a lot especially when people come over and all my paintings and stuff goes in my room there's always like bits of fluff on the floor all this like stuff everywhere my, my landlords will kill me because everyone thinks it's going to look like a murder scene in here when I leave because you go around with a UV torch there's going to be a paint splash everywhere but um <laughs> yeah it's, it's just like I, just, I don't really see it as a different thing I just see it as like a normal thing it's just yeah you actually launched a uh, neon naked life drawing. When most people think of life drawing, they think of drawing people with say like a black charcoal or you know pencil, mm -hmm. but you completely revolutionized what life drawing is. So what is this neon naked life drawing all about? Um, neon, I say neon life drawing is kind of like, a, um, it's, 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 well at first it's a really fun, great class for everyone to do. It's just like, it's a really, enjoyable and different it really exposes people to just a different style of art and creating art but I've always seen it like a kind of a development journey with my own work as well like so I love the idea of in our work where it's like it's, there's no control or it develops to a point where it's nothing to do with the first person in the, in, you know who started off the idea so say if I started off the idea I also I just set up the, the class is its own thing now I just set it up and get the models in and then they paint themselves with the neon paint, so I put the UV lights on, and then they pose how they like, and it kind of like the people draw like in their own way. I give them ideas, but they can draw however they like, and they use all these colours. And it just get, by the end of the class, you have these amazing drawings, amazing art pieces, which are just like it's just it just the whole process just creates this amazing output of art, and I just think it's like really um, great how it does that, and it's always really creative drawings. It's never like you know perfect. Um, like, like perfection like, uh, proportions or anything like that. It's just like, it has to be like just really creative drawing, really fun, really over the top and different. And people really enjoy it and they don't realize they can do it. And it's just like, whoa, I've done this. And it's like, yeah, it's amazing. So it's just, it's really enjoyable to see this process happen. It really feels like the neon color adds to this kind of abstract nature of the drawing more than if you were just sticking with the black charcoal but by incorporating these neons yeah. you just take your art to a whole new level yeah yeah no um it's i just like to be um i don't know i, I kind of like to put it together like i said before but i just i like to see what people do with it and that's kind of like the most enjoyable thing about it and see how especially with the like the life models they're all amazing and how they develop it themselves because like they always paint they always paint themselves in different ways and they, I get really creative people to come and do that. So it's kind of like just, it just, yeah, it's, it's always looking so amazing and it's always so different. And 
I'm also like amazed by what's happening and I just I enjoy it as well so it's just it's great it's actually quite hard to photograph neon because like oh, if yeah. you have a camera phone it just kind of like bleaches out yeah. kind of anyway yeah. so um have you got any tips for maybe sort of trying to capture um, neon in action I've got kind of pro it because I've been doing it for such a long time but um I get like photographers in like really good photographers and they struggle because they're not used to it and now I can't do normal photography now I'm just like oh all my shutter speeds are wrong on my camera and my aperture is wrong but I think just um, you just have to like kind of play about with it and just have a go. And the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And it's all, also, also all about post-production because I do it shooting raw. So a lot of, a lot of the time, yellow always kind of looks white um, mm. or green. It kind of goes, it just like, it washes out a bit. So you can always bring that back in post-production. And yeah, just kind of, um, you just, you just got to keep playing and pre keep practicing and just keep doing it really just to get to this point of, just great to make it look back to normal again. <laughs> cameras, cameras hate it. Never use iPhones. Don't, it doesn't work. Camera, I, camera phones don't work. You've got to use an SLR camera. <laughs> okay. So I like the fact that you've currently got some neon green streaks in your hair. And I've got a few yeah. as well at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I need to dye it again. I'm like, just put this on so you can't see my roots. But I'm going swimming today, so... I think it looks fabulous. Um, so to kind of end with, I'd love to ask you, I know that neon is your normality. Uh, it probably isn't for most people. So yeah. how would you like to see neon incorporated a bit more into other people's lives? What kind of things could they do to sort of have a bit more neon around them? Um, I think just um, to introduce it in little ways, um, maybe into your like, normal life rather than uh, going out Kind of like nightlife side of it because it's more where it's associated in so you can do it in your like normal day-to-day -day things but to be fair like i always say like don't be scared of it just kind of try and do it especially with artwork like always introduce it into artwork because so it's, it's just a part of the spectrum like every other color is and it does it's really good at highlighting areas like it's really good if you're like, like if you're wearing black it's really good at just adding that little bits of bit of balanced color like if you just wear something like this it's like obviously not the whole outfit <laughs> but um if you just add something in it's like a little bit it just really really pops out and really it's really good at highlighting areas of your work or your home or you know something you're making and it's really it's a lot of fun it's really enjoyable to use and you shouldn't associate it with things like like i said before with like the security thing or the um you know anything like that yeah, because I mean, I think I used to associate it with like going clubbing, and then you go to yeah, yeah. all of a sudden, like you'd become up, you'd come up all neon yourselves <laughs> because yeah. it had those like special lights and leaves, and it was always a bit strange. Oh, yeah. Probably where I first discovered it, I think. Um, but it really is like a totally joyful experience, and mm. I guess a form of colour that we don't always think about. So, um, thank you so much for sharing your neon life with us. It's been a real pleasure. No